All right, guys. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you something very interesting about these small engine carburetors, these Chinese ones. Um, I think they're actually Honda copies. But if your engine is experiencing like hunting, surging, um, it's not starting, or it'll start and die, this could be part of your problem. And I'm going to show you guys how to solve that issue and get your engine back up and running smoothly. So this is kind of a thing that not many people know about, and I wanted to share this information with you guys and see if it can help anybody with this problem. So I'm gonna get you guys in a little closer here, move my camera in, and I'll angle it down, and I will show you guys what I'm about to do. So for the job, you're probably gonna need one or two flathead screwdrivers, and basically what we're gonna do is take this idle speed screw, Kind of take a visual representation of kind of where it is and back it all the way out. So that's removed. Now you're going to be left with this thing right here. Oh, let me get you in here. That right there. That's actually the pilot jet for these type of carburetors. This one here has a weird name on it right there, but that's actually the pilot jet. And what happens is that gets clogged up because it's a really, really fine orifice and it'll get clogged up and you'll experience surging in that part throttle range and uh, hard starting sometimes. It might not start at all. This could be part of your problem. So what you do to get it out of there is just kind of lift on it gently, kind of like I'm doing here. And there's going to be probably two or three O-rings on it. So when you get it out, it looks something like this. Oh. Let me get you down here. So you get it out, it looks something like that. If it will focus on it. There. So that's kind of what it looks like. The end of it. It's got a brass insert with a hole in the center of it. Now that hole is actually supposed to be clear in the center. And you should be able to, you know, poke a wire or something spray through that and you should see it come out of this center hole here. If it doesn't, it's clogged. And a lot of times, probably nine out of 10 times, when you try to clean these, it's going to be clogged because if they ran any sort of ethanol fuel, let bad fuel sit in it for a long period of time, it's probably clogged up. So what you're gonna to wanna to do to clean that out is take a fine piece of wire, the common steel brush. I will take one of these bristles one single bristle from a steel brush wire, which is super fine and super stiff, so it's not gonna bend when I push it through there. And you're gonna go right through the center of that brass piece. As long as you can poke through it until you see it in the center of that hole, then you know it's clean. And uh, you should be good. Also, when you're doing this, spray some carb cleaner or brake clean of some sort down inside that orifice, there's a hole in there. It would be a good idea if you're doing a whole carb clean, obviously, to take the bowl off and clean out the main jet. But I'm just showing you guys how to remove the pilot jet and clean it out. So if you guys are going to do a full carb clean, I recommend taking the bowl off and going through all the uh, air bleeds and stuff like that as well. So um, I'll get a side cutters and I will cut the uh, steel brush piece off and show you guys how I do it. So I got my piece of steel brush wire. You guys can see it. I have it gripped with a needle nose pliers. This works the best because these things can go through your finger pretty easily. It'll pierce your skin and that kind of doesn't feel so good. So what I'm going to do is try to put it in the center of it. Try to find the hole. And I can already see a bunch of uh, ethanol powder in there. And what I'll kind of do is I'll kind of twist it around, try to push that piece of wire through there. And it's going to be quite difficult, guys, because some of this stuff has been caked in there, and it gets really stuck in there. So I might have to work at it for a little while. I also have another set of carb cleaning tools that I will get out, and you might be able to try one of them as well. Sometimes they'll even uh, bend the steel brush piece that you have. You might have to get a new one if it gets too bent. But try to clean it out the best you can. If you have to spray some compressed air in there, too, I've actually, sometimes I've actually taken a small drill bit and drilled that brass insert out and I did get it to run. I probably wouldn't recommend doing that, but if you have to and you need it running, I guess you could do that as well. I have done it and it did run. 
So that is good. Okay, I might have actually just got the piece to go in there. I felt it kind of give a little bit, so that is good. And I'm just kind of working on it, but you can see my piece of steel brush wire has gotten pretty mangled. So I'm going to have to get a new piece, and I will finish cleaning it out. But you guys kind of get the basic understanding of what I want um, to happen to the jet. Just get that center hole cleared out. Spray some carb clean through it after you get it poked through. Make sure it's uh, no debris is in there and stuff like that. Once again, go through the passageway on the carburetor body itself. Get that all cleaned out. Go through the entire carburetor while you're at it, and you should be golden. So... If you have surging, hunting, hard starting, starts and dies, um, runs rough, doesn't have uh, good power, stuff like that, this could be part of your problem. So before you guys go ahead and buy another carburetor or uh, go take it into the dealership, make sure you guys go try this for yourself. Um, there might be some uh, small little drill bit carb clean kits that I'm going to grab real quick. Here's a kit of carb cleaning tools from Matco Tools. I'm trying to find if there's a part number on it. Uh, oh yeah, drill tip set HTD, hang on, let me get that in there, HTD4. So there's some really, really fine tip drill bits, and it's got a little hand uh, drill for it, so you just kind of gently put it in there and, and turn it, and that actually might work quite well for this brass inserted pilot jet. So if you guys have a few bucks and you want to get this kit, this actually works quite well for a lot of different jets, and uh, it won't break them or anything like that. Just be gentle with the bits because they probably will snap if you put a lot of pressure on them. But you could go ahead and get this set if you don't want to use the steel brush wire or anything else you might have laying in your shop. But that's just what I do. That's going to be it for the video, guys. Hopefully this helps a lot of you with the problem of hunting, surging, all the other uh, symptoms I explained. And uh, hopefully it'll get your uh, lawnmower or whatever engine you have running again smoothly. And if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you smash the like button, subscribe to the channel below, and also leave a comment if it worked for you and how you guys ended up cleaning it with my method or with another method that you guys have found. Just let me know in the comments. That's going to be it. We'll see you guys in the next video.